What up? Welcome on, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 16 video. Today, we are back on the Xbox after getting shellackled twice. I don't know. I'm like, what? Two and... No, like what? Four and two on the PlayStation? Three and two or something like that? But here we go on the Xbox, man. We're going to go on ahead and use the Bills to go on ahead and uh, see if we can continue our winning streak on the Xbox side. You guys seen our record before the match started. Uh, one thing that I wasn't expecting, look how long it took me to find the game too, is that uh, for whatever reason, I had the team-specific defensive playbook, which is the 3-4. I suck with the 3-4. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing out of the 3-4. Now, one is going to take away the blitzes that I know, and that's not bad. You know what I mean? I don't mind not being able to send pressure. Um, I know some people are going to be like, you just want your, your you know, 4-3 or whatever so you can run your blitzes. I mean, no. I just feel more comfortable running Dallas because they also have the 4-6 there, which I think helps out a lot in the run. The 3-4, I just don't know any type of, I don't have any type of run defense. I don't have any type of situational pass defense. I don't know anything. So I'm struggling now, really upset that I got this goofy-ass 3-4 that I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, like none whatsoever. So I'm just hoping for the best. And right there, shabooking, we get lucky and we come through with an interception, and he was in the red zone, so that right there's definitely got to be very frustrating for him. As we get Shady McCool, he only got 89 speed, man. Why you guys got him so slow? Like 89, my boy can't get a 91 or something like that. So that right there was a fail of a uh, run. Third and four right here. We end up passing towards the sideline and we make a good throw. And speaking of throws, Tyrod Taylor's got to be one of the most inaccurate quarterbacks I've used all year. Horrible throw right there, right? He was open and he just flat out missed the throw. Next down right there. We kind of get, you know, it was thrown behind him, but we get the pass. Third and seven. Look how horrible that throw is. I do these corner routes all day, every day. And he flat out threw two horrible passes that cost me the continuation of that drive. So not only am I frustrated that I got this goofy-ass 3-4. It's a fumble. I don't know what the hell I did there. I think I just showed blitz and the blitz came in. Uh, second and 20 right here. Not only do I have this goofy-ass 3-4, um, I have a quarterback who's not making, you know, great passes. And I have a running back who just seems to be, you know, past his prime and is just going way too slow. And McCoy. I don't know. I don't ever remember McCoy having an 89 speed. Maybe in the third grade. On 4th and 20, he decides to go for it. I wish we would have batted that down. He cost us plenty of room. Right? I mean, uh, plenty of yards right there. But we go to a toss and we get nothing. So 2nd and 15, feel like we got a pass right here. Just a really quick underneath drag. Thankfully, he doesn't make a bad throw on that 2-yard drag route. So on 3rd and 5, man, we need this first down. We go underneath and we get 2 more yards. I'll take that. 4th down, swagger tree. You guys know the rules. I thought I was going to go for it. Uh, but they suggested a field goal. The wind was in my favor, which means we're going to go in there and kick it. There's not too many field goal kickers that can make a field goal from the 36, 35 yard line. I should say 35, right? Right. First, right. From 35, 36 yard line this year. Um, it's, it's tough. There's really not too many kickers. It's not like past Madden's where anybody could make 55 yard field goals. This year is different, but the wind was going in our favor. They suggested it. So fourth down swagger tree, we kicked our field goal and we're up three zero. Third and seven right here. He's rolling outside the pocket. He goes deep up top, one-on-one -on -one situation right there, and there's just nothing you can do about that. It's just, there's just nothing you can do. That is just chuck it up, hold Y, and you hope for the best. Now, what's crazy, like, do I get upset at that? I mean, it's a little frustrating, but I understand, right? When you have a tall receiver in a one-on-one -on -one situation, even in real life, uh, you know, you got to favor the receiver, right? It's just frustrating that it doesn't work for me. That when I try it, it just it just flat out doesn't work for me. You know, right here, we stopped him like Andy was showboating too. We stopped him like three times, but we went off sides twice in a row. And I couldn't take the chance of getting a third onside, um, you know, trying to stop the QB sneak. Because then I would have been removed from the game. So, we just pretty much had to kind of hope that our run commit came through. And, and we knew it wasn't going to. But, uh, yeah, you know, when people lob streak and they get it, it just doesn't work for me. Like, right here, I tried. I try. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong. That's why I rarely try it. Like, um, lob streaks I do if I feel like I have the speed advantage. But as far as, like, a, a jump ball, I don't really do those. I don't really do a jump ball, uh, you know, knowing that my receiver isn't going to outrun you. Knowing that it's just going to, both of them are going to be strafing and hold Y and, and hope my guy catches it. I don't really do that because it never works for me. It rarely does. Um... 
but it seems to work against me so well. Right here with a few seconds left and whew, just a tad overthrown. So fourth to ten, he decides to go for it. He figures why not, you know, last play of the half. Uh, and he goes up top and he ends up dropping it. So uh, we end up getting the ball. We're down 3-7. And even though we don't have our defensive playbook, our offensive playbook is good. We have our familiar offense. So there's no excuse for me to only have three points. Well, I do have an excuse. Tyra Taylor can't freaking make a throw. But uh, my offense should be good. Like right there, like, come on. How do you miss it that bad, man? Third and nine right here. And thankfully, he throws a good pass, man. It's so frustrating that he missed three throws already towards the sideline. Three easy completions that, you know, were wide open that he should have had. Finally, Shady gets a little loose right there. Just, uh, just a little too slow for my liking. I mean, 89 speed is not slow. That's pretty decent. But his acceleration seems slow. He, he just seems to get out of the backfield really slow. I don't know why. Uh, first and 10 right here. We go back to the tall. You see, I even got Williams in there with 90 speed uh, to see if I can, you know, hit the outside a little, you know, more, but not really working out for me. Uh, right there, uh, we end up dropping a pass. So we need a big play right here, third and 12. Thankfully, he called man to man, and we went for the C route wide open, but it's overthrown. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. Four good reads, four wide open passes, and this man, Taylor, just made horrible throws. That's the fourth one. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me, man. Like, that's so beyond frustrating. I'm not really having success running the ball. Lord knows. I don't know what the hell it is I'm doing on defense. I'm literally just calling any play that looks decent and hoping for the coverage to make a play. And right there. Oh, my goodness. I was there. I was there on that angle route. I seen it. And I just could not get there fast enough. I was upset with myself that that was the one opportunity because he's been running the ball the entire game. The one bad read he made because I seen it. I knew he was going there. The one bad read he made, I just couldn't get there in time. So right here, don't test that user. He is so disrespectful, though. As we end up coming away with a huge interception. Fourth quarter is here. We're going to try to you know waste as much time as possible. Hopefully, Taylor can make some good throws here and get us the opportunity to go on ahead and, uh, you know, make this uh, a lead tying, a lead uh, taking drive. So uh, here we go with the run right here. Bring it to the two minute warning. Uh, at some point soon, he's going to have to start wasting his timeouts. Nice little drag route. You guys know I love my drags, baby. So we're within the 10 yard line. So we cannot pick up a first down from here. We try the toss, try to hit the outside and just not really working for me this game. Second to go, I decided to take off with Taylor. Don't fumble, don't fumble. I tried to slide. I couldn't get it off. But thankfully, he does not fumble. Third and go. We go to the toss. And we end up scoring. I tried to waste one more second, which I was able to do. And we end up taking our first lead of the game. And is that the first lead of the game? Or were we up 3-0? I think we was up 3-0. Very next play, he decides to go four verts. And we end up catching an interception. We were just going to take some knees, but he ends up quitting. So that's the end of the ball game, fellas. We end up struggling on both sides of the ball. But nonetheless, we come away with the victory. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on to the final. And not to mention, this guy was in the top 200, too. Peace!